we can start solving for the six trig functions. This is just like what we did in 6.1, except we can be in any quadrant, and the all students take calculus kicks in. So this stuff right here, we're gonna need for this. Okay, that's comment number one. Comment number two, the drawing is not really important. I could have just given you the ordered pairs. All right, so that's another thing to worry about. But by giving you those ordered pairs, negative six and negative square root of 13, which of these values did I already give you? These are the X and Y, okay? So if you were to write this down, while for the third time today I scowl at you for not printing out the PowerPoints. So what quadrant are we in? Third. Third, so of our six trig functions, which one should be positive? Tangent and? cotangent and everything else should be negative. All right, so we only have two of the three values that are necessary. We have an x, oh wait, that's not a thing. There we go, we have an x and we have a y. What other letter are we missing? R. If only there was a formula that related x, y, and r. It's right there. So if you would, please solve for r. I do my own stunts. Oh, you don't even need a calculator for this. What is negative six squared? What is negative radical 13 squared? What is 36 plus 13? Underneath the radical is? Seven. Look at that. You don't need a calculator. It's like you shouldn't even be given one on a first test or something. Now you're scared. If you would, Please find your six trig functions. Let's call this angle right here theta. So you have an X, a Y, and an R. So let's use these formulas. So sine of theta would be Y over R. What's our Y? Negative square root of 13 over our R, seven. We don't have to clean that up because the radical is upstairs. It doesn't reduce. How about our cosine? Would be x over r. Good. Is that okay so far? And how about tangent? Is y over x? Oh, what happened there? Negative square root of 13 over negative 6. And how does that clean up? Uh, square root of 13 over 6. Square root of 13 over 6. So as we needed, Sine and cosine were negatives, tangent were positive. If you would, please go through and find uh, the reciprocal functions and rationalize as needed. What do you get for cosecant after the rationalization? Yeah, I'm going to put the negative up top, but that's fine. Uh, sorry, the radical didn't go in there. And how about secant? Someone else. Oh, this one's nice. Good. And cotangent. 